All right, so this is one of my most requested questions I get. What do you do when you get a new lead into FreedomSoft? Somebody got your mail, they called, they either left a message or they hung up. Um, how do I find the information on that new lead that came in in the list? So if you remember, um, we in FreedomSoft, we either download or upload our list into FreedomSoft. So we have a list of a thousand people that we sent a postcard to. The phone calls start trickling in and those go into the campaign. So we have lists and we have campaigns. Important to understand that. So right now, if I, let me shrink this a little bit. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can, but so pay attention. If I go here from my home screen, and this is one of my clients' accounts, but if I go into home screen and I go to leads inbox, I got a bunch of new leads here and I just got one here. Um, and I did this as a test from one of my virtual phone numbers here. And um, I just called. And if I go to communications, you can see that um, the caller, I just hung up and I sent a text, the FreedomSoft sent a text back. Hey, it was a reference number. And I responded back on my cell phone. Uh, the reference number was WAG9999. But let's say, you know, um, I was playing with this earlier. Let's say anytime somebody hangs up and they don't text, you should call them back. So you just click the phone number, you click green and you start calling them. All right, so always call back the hangups. That's number one. Always call back the hangups. Call them back four or five times over a couple days um, and just ask them, hey, I saw that you called. How can I help you? It needs to be as simple as that. You don't have any land that you're trying to sell, do you? So don't you know, worry about any of that. Just call them back right away. And let's say they leave a voicemail or let's say they send you a text or let's say you call them or you text them again a few days later. Hey, what was the reference number? Boom, now you know the reference number. So now you have an item in the, a, a record in the campaign. So again, if I go here to leads inbox, I go to campaigns. You can see here, if I go to view all in that campaign, there's that lead right there in the campaign. So I'm gonna open it up and I go to communications. And this is my virtual number right here. And I just hung up. And I've called back a couple times and I responded back, you know, WAG9999. So now I need to go find that record in the list. So if I go to my list right here, somewhere in Wagoner County, if I go to view all, I have WAG9999. Now I can see that it's right there, but I'm going to show you because there's 302 records in here. Let's say you have 5,000 of them. How do you find that? All right, so I'm going to do a few things here. I'm going to go uh, back to leads inbox. I'm going to open up this new lead that just came in. And um, I'm going to copy this phone number right there. I'm just going to copy it onto my clipboard. And I'm going to do another thing too. I'm going to assign this new lead because I know it's from Wagner. I'm going to assign it to that pipeline. I'm going to select pipeline. I'm going to select Wagner list and give it a second, let it upload and refresh. Okay, there it is. So now it's assigned. This phone call that came in is assigned to the pipeline of the list and the campaign. Does that make sense? So now it's in a list and it's in the campaign right here. So I've copied that phone number. I'm going to do it one more time just in case I forgot, right? I copy that phone number and I know it's WAG9999. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll also copy that WAG999. Now I'm going to go to my lists, Wagner County, view all. Now what I need to do is th there is this record in the list that has all the information on the seller. It has the property location, the address. Scroll down, it has the owner information. It has a GPS coordinates, parcel ID, WAG, the reference ID, and the lot size, and all of that. So I need to merge this stuff over from the list into the campaign record. How do you do that? Well, I'm going to paste the phone number in here. Well, first of all, let me go back here to the list. I know it's in here somewhere, right? So I'm going to view all. I want to find the record that has WAG9999 in it. Now you could go through here and try to figure it out, but I'm just gonna go to this advanced filters right here. And I'm gonna click on add filter right here. And I'm gonna just type in the words, the letters ref to, because it's a big drop down menu. I'm gonna type in REF and I'm gonna hit enter and it takes me to that reference ID contains. And I know it has a 9999 in it, right? You click search and there it is, it pops it up. That's the list, for the record from the list. Now I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna paste that phone number right there. Okay, 
and I'm going to update it. There it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this list, this breadcrumbs. I'm going to do view all. And we're looking at all 303, okay? And I'm going to highlight all the records in that list. And I'm going to go to more actions. And I'm going to do find duplicates. And I'm going to search for duplicates by phone number. Find duplicates. So now there's a record in the list and a record in the campaign with the same phone number. And I'm going to merge them. It's looking for the duplicates. This takes just a second. Okay, just like magic. There it is, two duplicate records detected. Now I'm going to click Merge Duplicates. It doesn't matter, oldest or newest. It just If there's a conflict, which ones to keep? And I'm going to click Oldest, and I'm going to click Merge Duplicates. Are you sure? Yes. Duplicates will be remerged in the background. All right, so I'm going to go back to my lead inbox, and there's the lead right there. You could also go to Campaign, this, go to View All. <clears throat> There's the record right there. So guess what you see now? You see that it's assigned to the list and the campaign. And now, here's if I go to Communications tab, this is the conversation we had right here. If I go to Lead Details, it brought over the, the address of the property, the location of the property, the county, and all of that. It brought over the owner's information, GPS coordinates, parcel ID, reference ID, lot size. And if I would have done direct mail in FreedomSoft here, you would see also the mail piece that was sent to the seller. All right? So good. Now what you have is whether when you go to that list, you'll see that, let me show you what I mean here. If I go to this list, Wagner County, you'll see that there is a um, lead here with the status of new that came from that list that's tied to that campaign. All right. So there's a couple things you need to do once it's in here. Always number one is confirm that you have permission to follow up with them. So every lead that comes in, you always need to confirm it with the green checkbox so that gives FreedomSoft the permission to do all of the automated follow-up with them. So you're basically saying that um, permission is not required or not needed or it's been given. Um, okay, so I always confirm it. The second thing I do is I wanna change the status to something like Offer requested. So it's not new anymore, right? I, the guy gave me his reference ID. He wants an offer. So I'm always updating the status to offer requested, right? The next thing you want to do is um, maybe, you know, do a little research, look up the GPS coordinates, etc. cetera. Um, but then you want to call the lead right away. You just click on their number now. You click the green thing and then you call them. Uh, there was something else here. Hold on one second. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so the other question people ask is, well, what do I say to them? Um, I got this lead. I got the information. I know about the property. Let me just say this. Um, don't spend too much time doing a bunch of research on this property before you call the seller. In fact, in fact sometimes the less you know, the better. So just copy the GPS coordinates, put it in Google, You know, look it up on Google Maps, and I don't know where that GPS coordinates came from. I just guessed it. And uh, hmm, got something there. All right, anyway, um, so don't do too much research. You know, sometimes what I'll do is I'll pick an address of a house nearby that has an actual address. I'll copy that address. I might open it up in Redfin and then paste it in there. And then I might go right here to this thing <clears throat> and I might go to new search right here. Now I have the property in the center of my map and you see me teach this in my courses and, and all my Monday deal deals deals calls. And then from here, you know, you can do a search for properties that have sold in the last year by land only, et cetera. And then you can start zooming out to get a bunch of lots that have sold. And then you kind of sort from low to high and you've got a bunch of comps and stuff like this. Now this is Jackson, Mississippi, I think, or something. Yeah. Go figure. All right, so anyway, that's kind of what you do. Like That should be all the research you do before you call the seller. Look it up on Google Maps. Maybe do a street view, you know, to get a kind of feel for the area. Look it up on Redfin's and, and look to, in the neighborhood. What are the actives? What are the uh, pendings here for, for land only? Zoom in a little bit. But that like all of that, you should take you maybe two or three minutes. The less you know about the property, the better. You want to just get them on the phone. So... In the course, go into the resources, you know, and, and make sure you review modules three and four in my land course because I talk about how to talk to sellers and how to make offers. And if you go right here to marketing, you go to scripts, 
And here's the land seller script right here. Open this land seller script. This isn't intended to be a word for word, line for line script. It's just means it's meant to generate ideas and give you different questions to ask the sellers. Your calls with these sellers should be three to five minutes long. You should ask at least 10 to 20 questions in those few minutes. Just be friendly. Remember, you're the reluctant buyer. You're not selling anything. You're not chasing them. The harder you chase them, the faster they'll run. So you're just basically asking questions. Tell me about the property. What's your situation? What would you like to see happen? When would you like to see that happen? That's it. So go through these questions. Ask this, this, this script here. Ask a lot of questions. Try to find out what's their story. Why do they need to sell this? You know, it sounds like a nice property. Why do you even want to sell it? What would you like to see happen? When? When were you hoping to be able to sell? Is this a now thing or a later thing for you? What's more important, to sell it quickly or sell it to the highest price possible? I, you know, I play the reluctant buyer. I always tell them, I am probably not your buyer. You should just list it with a realtor, okay? They can get you the highest price. If they won't tell me what the property is worth or what they want for it, I tell them, I'm probably not your guy then. You know, if I can give you some names and numbers of some realtors who have sold vacant land recently here, and they can give you an opinion for what the property might be worth. You want me to do that? Listen, I'm probably not your buyer, but if you want full price, you need to list it with a realtor. I don't pay real retail price, but if you want the easy button, I'm the easy button. I can pay you cash. I can close in 30 days or whatever. So I'm just wanting to ask a bunch of questions. And remember, you can only do deals with motivated sellers. So I've, I've covered a lot there. My main goal with this video is to kind of show you when the lead comes in, how do you link it to that property in the list? And then what do you do with hangups? Call them uh, after you get some basic information in here. Don't do too much research. Call them, talk to them, get them on the phone and ask them some questions that you get from the script. Okay, hope that helps.